Hey guys, so um, today I'm going to be reviewing the Hunger Games Nail Polish Collection. So I went a little crazy and ordered the whole thing. So I'll have the whole thing to review for you guys. So this is the Hunger Games Collection by China Glaze. Um, it was a collaboration between China Glaze and Lionsgate. And I don't know if you guys had heard, but originally they were supposed to do this collaboration and they released the whole, um, like all this, like the little swatch things and the original names and then there was some kind of dispute and then I think Lionsgate ended up suing China Glaze and then everything got worked out so they ended up releasing the collection with the same colors with different names but personally I like the first set of names they had chosen for these nail polishes instead of the second set of names so the first ones were inspired by characters and the second set of names were inspired by um, the districts so I'm going to go through and show you all the nail polishes. I'll show you the names they finally gave them, what districts they belong to, and um, then I will also show you what their previous names were and, you know, who they were inspired by and all that. Uh, forgive my voice. I've been sick lately. I meant to get this video up one or two days ago, but I've been really sick in bed. Today's the first day I kind of have some life back in me. And um, let me see what else I can tell you. Oh, sticking with the theme, I have my hair in a side braid. Um, and my eyeshadow's all black and coaly. And I even have, ah, let's see, let's see, District 12. So, let's get started. So, I have already swatched these all on a color wheel. And let's see, let's start with District 1. So these are in order of the districts. This is the one they got for District 1. There you go. It's one of those flakies nail polishes. Um, this one's called Lux and Lore, or Lux and Lush, sorry. And this is supposed to be for District 1, which is luxury. Now, the original name for this one, let's see, for this one, oh, can you tell? There you go. Kind of see the holographic reflection. Uh, was Flaming Gems Overlay. And this was supposed to be inspired by um, Katniss's interview dress. I don't know if you guys read the books, you know what I mean. It was supposed to be a dress that had gems, and when it moved, it looked like it was on fire. And so that was the original name. Either way, I think this is really cool, and it should look pretty good layered over a lot of things. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Etsy one I was raving about last time. But the thing is with this one, since the flakies are so big, um, they can feel a little rough. So like on this one, see? they are more holographic, but they are, like they stick up off the nail, which I kind of don't really enjoy. But we'll see. Probably going to end up, well, I said I wouldn't keep all of these, but we shall see. Um, the next one for District 2, this is one of my favorite ones. Um, sometimes I have a little bit of a hard time liking matte nail polishes. This one's a matte gray. Here it is. It's called Stone Cold, which for District 2 is um, Masonry, which I thought that, that new name was pretty cool. The original name for this one was um, Joined at the Seam, inspired by the seam where Katniss lived. I'll show you here. So as you can see, it's a... Um, matte gray and I really like this one actually this is one of my favorites out of the whole collection um yeah so that was I'm trying to see it it seems kind of glittery in the bottle but it dries to a really pretty matte and I do think it looks like stone which is good for the masonry district um the third one is one I actually have on my nails right now. It's called Riveting for District 3 Technology. Now, I don't know how much this really has to do with technology, but it's a really pretty color. And this one is the one I think that fits most with the theme of, you know, the girl on fire. And the original name for this one is um, Fire and Flight, inspired by the Flaming Mockingjay, which, yeah, it does remind me most of you know, the fire, which is why I put it on my nails, and it's the brightest one. The only thing about this collection is I understand why all the colors are so, not dull, but like darker, more subdued tones, because it's supposed to be about the world in Panem, where everything's really, like, yeah, there's dark overtones to it, 
I just, spring is coming up and it's not, a lot of these colors aren't very springy. This is the closest one to a spring color. But I do really like the collection and I can see myself using it in the future. I just don't know how many of these I'll be using immediately. Yes, yeah, so this is, back to the video at hand. This is Riveting from District 3, Technology. Riveting. I don't know why I have to show you this one on my fingers. I have it on my fingers already. Alright, District 4, the Fishing District, Hook and Line. So, this is a really pretty, like, gray, taupey color. I really like this color as well. I can show you it here. And this one, it does go on a little bit streaky, and you do need two coats of this one. Um, yes, you do definitely need two coats of this one. But I saw in some other reviews that, yeah, the streaks are kind of cool because it makes it look like fishing lines. I'd, I think that's pretty cool. But, yes, yeah, so this one's called Hook and Line, and the original name for this one was Coal Hearted, inspired by... District 12, which is the coal mining district. So that's this one for District 4. District 5. This is the power district, I guess, power and electricity. And this is this glitter one. Now, this is a little bit glitter crazy for me. I, If I were to just see this on the shelf, I probably wouldn't go out of my way to buy this one. But I do think it goes very well with the theme, and I think they did need a glitter polish like this. And it is, it's glitter crazy. It's kind of awesome how much glitter there is. And this is a great holiday one. I know China Glaze has a holiday one that's kind of like this that has green in it. But I think this one's really cool. And it also kind of reminded me of a completely different book series, but of um, Gryffindor House from the Harry Potter books because it is gold and red and everything. I know, kind of off topic. But yeah, so here's this one. And this one's Electrify from the... District 5 Power. The original name for this one was Heat of the Moment. And this one was supposed to be inspired by the costumes that um, Cinna designed for Peta and Katniss when they first went into... It wasn't the arena. When they first went into the Capitol and they were first presented. This is supposed to be inspired by those. And this one, the current name, if you want to go by it, is Electrify. Alright, so that was District 5. On to District 6. This is such a pretty neutral color. This is um, Fast Track, and this is for District 6 Transportation. Again, I don't really know what this has to do with transportation, but it's a really pretty color. It's this one. This one, and it does, it's like a really pretty beige with like gold micro glitter. And it's a really pretty neutral like nail polish. I, another one of my favorites of the collection. Really pretty. Um, fast Track, and the original name for this one was Catnip, inspired by the nickname that Gail gave Katniss. So the original name for this one was Catnip, and the current name is Fast Track. This is, it's so pretty. It's like, it's neutral, but then it has that extra like oomph because of the little glitter that's in it, and I, I really like this one. Okay, District 7. This one's called Mahogany Magic. And this is for District 7, the Lumber District. And this one, this name actually does make sense to me. Um, because Lumber, Mahogany. And the original name for this one was Baker's Son. And this is supposed to be the nail polish for PETA's character. So, yes. And as much as I love PETA, um, he was the one I really wanted Katniss to end up with. It went on really, really streaky. And this one definitely needed, this one on here has three coats on the nail wheel because I could not get it to get unstreaky. After three coats it looks really good and really smooth, but the first two coats were just insanely streaky. I was really frustrated with it. The first coat I was like, oh no, the second coat is a little better. And then finally by the third coat it looks a lot better. But this is, I think, the streakiest polish out of the bunch. Um, but I will keep it. I don't have a color like this, actually. Revlon's Espresso that I have is kind of like this, but this one is like a little, has a bit of red undertone that I really like, so that's pretty. And I have to keep it keep it because it was the one inspired by PETA. I have to, just have to. Okay, so that was District 7, Mahogany Magic for Lumber. District 8, Dress Me Up. 
this is supposed to be for the textiles, the fabrics and stuff. This is um, Dress Me Up. Really pretty color. I think this is, if you're into the pink and mauvey tones, this is going to be more the color for you. Um, the original name for this one was Prim Rose, and this was supposed to be Prim's color. And I think it does suit very well to be Prim's color as well. But, uh, the name for now is Dress Me Up from District 8 for textiles. That's that one. Other really pretty neutral color. One of the most wearable ones, if you like all that stuff, uh, out of the collection. See, District 9, Harvest Moon for grain. Mm, I would think of something a little lighter for grain, honestly, but this one's really pretty, too. It, um, it's kind of like a coppery, coppery? Like a burnt rust copper color. And this one, I really like the original name for this one. The original name for this one was Cinnamon, like cin Cinnamon, but like Cinna, C-I-N-N-A, -N -N like the character Cinna. And this was inspired by Cinna's gold eyeliner, which again, I would think to be a little more gold, which, oh, yeah, by the way, in case you ha can't tell, I'm wearing gold eyeliner underneath here in honor of Cinna. So this was supposed to be inspired by Cinna's gold eyeliner. This isn't really gold, <laughs> but... Uh, it's a really pretty color nonetheless, and this is, okay, Harvest Moon, District 9, the Grain District. This is supposed to be for District 10, Livestock, Fragua, fa, fa, F-O-I-E, I suck, I never learned French, yeah, Fragua, fra, Fragua, whatever, that's the name of this one, District 10, Livestock, which is, I don't know how I feel about that name, but it's a really pretty color. It's like a brown, gray, gray brown. It's it's gorgeous. I love this color. Let's see on here. Yeah, see it how pretty that looks. And the original name for this one, this is supposed to be Gale's color, and it's called Rebel, which I think is a much cooler name. Um, but yeah, this is supposed to be Gale's color. I really like it. Let's see, District Eleven. District 11 is agriculture, and that's where Rue and Thresh were from. And this fits. This gr is a green, and it's called Argo. I don't know where the name really came from. If you guys remember, let me know. <laughs> but um, yeah, District 11 agriculture, which makes sense to have a green. Now the original name for this was uh, We Could Run Away, and that was inspired by the forest that Katniss and Gale would hang out in and hunt in. And so, yeah, that still makes sense for it to be a green. But it's really pretty, and it has kind of like some, it's a green, it's like an olive green with some gold, like, undertones. There, can you see it better? There you go. Really, really pretty. Maybe St. Patrick's Day. And the last one is supposed to be for District 12, um, Smoke and Ashes. Now, I usually stay away from painting my nails something this dark, but this is such a pretty color. I don't know if the camera is doing it justice. I don't know if you can tell. It's like a black polish with green and navy and blue micro glitter in there. Let's see if you can tell better on here. I don't know. It's not coming off as great as it looks. And the original name for this, which I thought was such a cool name, Fight to the Finish. And it was inspired by the night sky that the tributes would look into at night. Oh, the night sky at night. But it's really, really pretty. So these are the 12 colors going from District 1 all the way around to District 12. And they're supposed to be colors of the capital, but they're named after all the districts. Anyways, um, I kind of wish they had included, I guess, District 1 can kind of be considered a capital color because it's the luxury district, but maybe something a little more over the top for the capital would have been cool. Not that 12 nail polishes isn't enough for a collection. Okay, so if you've watched this whole video all the way through, here's your reward. Um, I'm uh, doing a contest. I... I'm a dumbass, and accidentally ordered one of the colors twice. I won't 
let you see which one. I don't know if you can see it through here. Uh, I accidentally ordered one of the colors twice. So I'm doing a contest giveaway type thing where if you win, I will mail this to you and you will have won one of the colors from the Hunger Games collection. Uh, so what do you have to do to enter? First, you need to be subscribed to my YouTube channel. Over here somewhere I'm thinking over here. I, I don't know where it goes on this camera. Um, yeah, so you need to be subscribed to my YouTube channel. You need to leave a comment down below on the YouTube, actual YouTube page that you go through YouTube.com. Um, and third, you need to like my Facebook page and the link will be down below in the little bottom bar thing. So that's three things you need to do. You need to be a subscriber. You need to leave a comment down below. And you need to um, like my Facebook page for my YouTube channel. And I will pick a winner, hopefully, I'll pick a winner on Sunday. And I will announce it on my Facebook page on Monday. So by Monday, so if you like my Facebook page, which you should, to enter, I will let you know who won on Monday. Um... I don't know how many people watch this, but open to continental U.S. only. I uh, hope you liked my review. Hope you follow all the steps. You could be part of my giveaway. Come on. Yeah. Um, what was that? That was crazy. I'm still loopy from the cold medication. I hope you enjoyed my review once again, um, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.